Okay, we've got our four guitar tracks set up with the sounds that we like for each one, and we're ready to try to do a balance of each one. But before we do, we're going to do a little bit of editing. We're going to fix the ending so that all the tracks end the same. Right now... There's several noises that we don't really want to hear. We want to hear a smooth fade out. So let's get our zoom tool. Zoom in kind of tight on the ending here. Play track one. Back to smart tool. Play the ending. Okay, there's a little thump on the end there. So we're going to use our smart tool that turns into a trimmer if you get close to the edge. And trim until we don't hear that sound again. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Okay, the Smart Tool has all three of these tools, Trimmer, I-Beam, Grabber, incorporated into the same tool. And depending on where the cursor is placed on the track, if you get in the corner you get a square box here that's a fade tool. It'll let you draw a fade by mashing the mouse button and going to the left. Uh, if you go to the middle of the track, you get a trimmer tool, this bracket here. If you go to the bottom, you get your grabber tool. It allows you to move the whole region left or right or to another track if you want. In the middle, you get your I-beam that allows you to select certain pieces or start to play from a certain spot. Okay, we know we need a phase, so let's go ahead and draw in the fade now. And let's see how we sound. That's a nice taper. Let's zoom out one click on our command bracket, left bracket. Get that setting there. Let's go ahead and shorten all the tracks to that same spot. And we should be able to just put a fade on there and it'll sound pretty good with everything stopping at about the same time and tapering down on the ending. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, that's very good. Let's hear them all at once. Okay, sounds like an ending. Let's go to the front. Zooming out with my bracket tool, we're going to cut off these snap sounds that I used for a count off on the very first track. Right there, so we're going to place our eye beam right in front of where the sound starts, zoom in with our bracket. Place right in front of the sound, and then Command E will make a break for us. We can hold down Shift select that same point on all the other tracks hit a command E and it'll make a break for us we now have a cut so we have two regions on each track we won't want this front region that has the count offs so we can select with our grabber hold down shift select more than one hit delete and all the front regions disappear and now we should have a clean start. Let's see if we do. Okay, that sounds okay. And we're ready to do our bounce to disk. <laughs> 